right. Hey there, Sean. Sean Byrne, hi. Jean Bernard. Jean. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm doing well. Okay. And you? I'm good. I'm good. From France, I assume. France? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, cool. Right, from France. Okay, great. Um, I know that we've met. How long have you been studying English? Oh, um, I didn't remember exactly, uh, but uh, um, I started uh, a few months ago, uh, but uh, I um, stopped stopped uh, during a period because uh, I didn't have uh, enough time to learn. Uh, uh, English language uh, properly. Uh, mm, actually, uh, I'm retired and uh, I have uh, more time uh, for that. I see. And uh, what, what is your job? Ah, uh, my, my job um, was a computer engineer. Computer engineering? Okay. Yeah, computer engineer. Yes, yes. Oh, great. Okay. Okay. And um, do you get to speak English often in your country? Oh, it's, um, it's a bit difficult because I don't have any friends to talk uh, in uh, English. Uh, in, my, uh, in my country, uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, possibility, uh, but uh, actually uh, uh, I'm um, at the countryside and uh, too close to uh, Piri Mountains, it is a bit difficult to uh, talk uh, English language. Mm, gotcha. Got okay. In, in a few days, uh, in a few days, I'll, uh, I'll go to Bordeaux. Where? Uh, in Bordeaux. Okay. Um, Baldo? Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Okay. Cool. Cool. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Um, hello, Ken. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for coming. Um, so, mm -hmm. yes. Um, anything new, Ken? Uh, yeah. My city's franchise baseball team won the how can I say Japanese World Series? Wow! Oh, yeah, the last two, uh, this week. Uh -huh. So yeah, I got excited. Very and cool. Kind of how can I say winning sale is happening now in my town. Ah yes, yes. It's gone so, sale. Baseball, an international baseball league in Japan. Has kind of Japan league actually, like American World Series. Uh, oh, the Japan. Japan has a two leagues. Gotcha. And the winner of these two league fight uh, kind of play in uh, Japan cities, uh -huh. like World Series in America. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Gotcha. Cool. Cool. Well, I'm happy to hear that. That's a pleasure. I'm so glad that um, that your team did well. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody, so let's begin. I'm Verbling Teacher Norell. I'm a native English speaker from New York City in the United States, and um, I'm available for private one-on-one -on -one tutoring. Um, you can follow me on Verbling to get updates on my classes, and today we will be um, having a discussion and doing some reading together about... An on an article, let's see, it's actually titled How Does Mercury Get Into Fish? And it was an article in the Scientific American magazine. So my first discussion question, um, the, oh, by the way, the link to the article is in the chat box, and the discussion questions are also in the chat box. So um, I know that sushi is very popular in Japan. <laughs> Uh, yes. So, Ken, um, why don't you take the first discussion question mm -hmm. uh, 
do you eat a lot? Of, do you lot? Well, you all eat a lot of fish in your country yeah. too. Yeah. Um, is there any? Is there public concern about the mercury levels? Uh, yes. Uh, sometimes uh, media report mercury problem of fish uh, or tuna. Uh, tuna contains a lot of mercury, but a not so big campaign of media because you know maybe media sponsor of my, uh, some sponsor of media is you know maybe fishing industry or fish uh, kind of eating fish is kind of a main how can I say cultural thing here. The people have a, a lot a lot of sentiment about that, but uh, anyway, uh, people are worried about this. Yeah, because we mm -hmm. a lot. Of yeah. Yeah. What about what about you, Jean Bernard? Oh, um, it's a, a real problem uh, um, uh, because uh, because uh, in France uh, people uh, eat uh, a lot of uh, fish, uh, fish and meat. Uh, um, in my in my opinion, uh, unfortunately. Uh, uh, the ocean and sea uh, are uh, polluted, and uh, mercury uh, contamination is a real problem. A real problem, because the fish, fish eat a lot of mercury. Uh, fish eat a lot of uh, earth, earth uh, that contain a lot of uh, mercury, and uh, it's a real problem uh, actually. Yeah. Um, just a, a question, uh, teacher. Um, do you live in New York City? I live um, in a town that's about 25 minutes away from New York City. So it's we consider it a New York City suburb. Ah, New York City suburb. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I know, I know. I uh, have been to New York City uh, twice, twice. Okay. Yeah, we grew up coming and going from New York City because my parents oh. were raised in Brooklyn and Queens, and so uh, ah, um, I, okay. you know, we would go out to see the grandparents every week for a very okay. long time. Okay. Yeah. 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 Did you Fantastic. like New York? Did you like New York? Oh, yeah. uh, I love a lot New York. I love New York. New York City is a fantastic uh, city. Uh, uh, marvelous city with uh, a, a lot of uh, attraction uh, and uh, in New York City you, you can find uh, uh, a lot of things uh, to do. Mm -hmm. um, uh, New York City is not a bored city. It's a great city. Great, great city. Yeah, it definitely mm. is. Definitely is. Um, I, you know, it's hard for me to say that I love it, though. Um, it's hard to say that I love it because it's uh, dirty and crowded, and people aren't really that friendly here. There's definitely <laughs> not a great flow to the city. Um, um, but I'm glad that you were able to go on vacation there. I'm glad that you were able to go on vacation there because it's a, definitely a place that everyone should that everyone should go to. So, everybody, um, so it sounds like everyone has heard about mercury contamination around fish. Uh, we all kind of eat it, yeah. And and as Ken mentioned, there's some cultural sentiment around it. I know French the uh, French food does also contain fish. Uh, we just sort of hope that. We just sort of hope that it doesn't catch up to us, I guess. So, um, let's begin the reading, please, everybody. So, here we go. Um, uh, Ken, why don't you read the, the first part here? Is that big enough for you to see? Uh, could you uh, be, uh, enlarge a bit? Right. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Uh, dear Arthur, uh, I know that uh, large fish contain a lot of mercury, but where does it come from and what are we doing to prevent this uh, contamination? Mercury in the fish we like to eat is a big uh, problem in the United States and increasingly around the world. 
Mercury uh, itself is a natural con uh, occurring element that is uh, present throughout the environment and in plants and animals, but, uh, but human, uh, sorry, but human uh, industrial activity uh, such as uh, coal fired electricity generation, uh, smelting, and the inclination of waste. Uh, Ratchets, ratchets up the amount of airborne mercury, which eventually finds its way into lakes, rivers, and ocean, where it is uh, gobbled up by un unsuspecting fish and other uh, marine life. Oh, good, Ken. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so. John Bernard, can you tell me uh, just what are what were some of the main ideas there? Unmute, John Bernard. Okay, okay. Uh, sorry, sorry. No worries. My uh, microphone uh, was uh, mute. Oh, don't worry. Happens <laughs> to all of us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are some of the main ideas? Um, uh, I agree. I agree with uh, this uh, paragraph. Mm -hmm. I share. I share the main uh, ideas uh, because uh, it's uh, unfortunately is the reality. Yeah. It's the reality. Uh, mercury uh, comes from uh, uh, different, uh, different tools, materials, and uh, uh, plants and uh, animal, uh, animals. Animals eat uh, mercury. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, an, an, another, another problem, uh, in my opinion, um, there's another problem. Uh, Shape, shape, uh, the, the large shapes, the big shape, uh, polluted, polluted the, um, the ocean uh, and the sea. Yeah. Uh, uh. Good. So, um, thank you, thank you. What about, so, Ken? Do you think that there's really uh, anything that anyone can do about this? I mean, we can all just stop eating fish, but as you mentioned, there's cultural sentimentality around eating fish. It's part of the traditional diet for so many people, but human industrial in activity is so big yeah. that I don't know. Mm -hmm. and not only the fish, but also you know, meat is contaminated of chemicals or mercury nowadays because if the land uh, contaminated by mercury, it affects to the animals. Uh -huh. mm. Mm. Totally. Yeah, the higher up the food chain we go, the uh, less of a chance that we're not uh, uh, some damage goes. Um, Okay, okay. Uh, anything, uh, what do you think, John Bernard? Do you think that there's anything we can really do about this? Just short of not eating fish. <laughs> um, it's a um, tricky question. Yeah. Ah, it's a tricky question because, uh, uh, as um, everyone uh, say around the world, uh, different uh, countries uh, fight against the pollution. Uh, principally the wealthy countries, uh, but uh, unfortunately uh, nowadays uh, uh, the, the reality, the reality is um, wealthy uh, countries uh, uh, <coughs> uh, wealthy countries. Uh, um, waste uh, a lot of uh, material, uh, a lot of uh, contamination uh, by uh, uh, 
euh, dé déchets, like, euh, electricity, coal, euh, fossil fuel, euh, power euh, nucléaire, euh, and, and so on. And so on. Mm -hmm. Mm, yeah. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay, so we... It's all difficult. It's all very difficult. And I'm not sure if we just might need to stop eating to really avoid this. So in other words, we can't really avoid it, but we can be aware of it. So... Why don't you uh, continue to read, Jean Bernard? Um, no, 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 no. Wait, hold on, hold on. So I just want to go over a couple of pronunciation things that came up in the first paragraph here. So Ken and Jean Bernard, please uh, repeat after me. Contamination. Contamination. Great. Contamination. Excellent. Increasingly. 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 Mercury. 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 Good. Occurring. 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 Good. Um, industrial. Industrial. In industrial. Good. Incineration. Incineration. Mm -hmm. Incineration. Good. Um, Ken, what does what does incineration mean? Mm, incineration waste stretches. It's melting. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And <laughs> keep. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, waste? incineration of waste. So it's one of the main ways that we. Um, get rid of garbage. Like it's like we either have landfills or garbage. Garbage, so garbage. Burn the hell out of the garbage. I see. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think incineration is also used for like uh like dead bodies, like animal body waste. You know. Uh, uh, factories, factories burns, burn the dishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Good. Um. And uh, Jean Bernard, what does it mean to ratchet up? Kind of a phrasal verb. To ratchet. Uh, uh, <laughs> ratchet up. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's a phrasal verb. Mm. Uh, so to ratchet up is kind of to like. It's sort of like a a word to say it increases the substantially ratchet. It's sort of a very um, vivid word. It I means kind of like jacks it up, like. Like increases, pushes it up, uh, makes it a lot. Oh, oh okay. Turns up the volume. Okay, increases. Okay, yeah. to increase. So the amount of airborne mercury um, just gets, just skyrockets. It pushes it to the max. Yes, yes. Okay. Can you use the term "ratchets up" in a sentence, please? Um. Um, uh, in France, uh, an employed man um, writes uh, up uh, days after days. Wait, repeat one more time. Um, in France, yes. Uh, an employed man, an employed man, oh. uh, writes up. A day uh, or month after month. Good. Um, so you can say uh, in France, uh, unemployment has been ratcheted up month after after month. Yeah. After, after month. month. Yes. Good. Okay. Really good use of that. Yeah. There's sort mm -hmm. of this, like caustic kind of like ugh feeling to ratchet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. All right, Ken. Why don't you use the word ratchet in a sentence? Ratchet. Mm. Ratchet up. Mm. Yeah, employment. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, employment rate is ratcheting ratchet, ratchet up. Has been ratcheted up. Yeah, too. 
the unemployment rate has been ratcheted up. Ratcheted up. Here, too. Yeah, so that's passive voice. Um, so it's sort of like... Um, yeah, um, so let, let, me, let me see. So, so um, you can say... It's sort of like a bad... It's kind of like so. Okay, so the unemployment rate has been ratcheted. Has been. Has been. That's passive. Mm -hmm. So uh, something that can actively perform ratcheting up, like so. Okay, um, you can say the uh, Fukushima explosion uh, ratcheted up the amount of radioactive. Oh, pollution. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, the, um, the Fukushima explosion ratcheted up the amount of radioactive pollution. So uh, a good use of mm -hmm. passive and active voice. Good. All right. So uh, this word is for or the uh, mostly used for negative, uh, right? Yeah, I would say okay. so. Mm -hmm. I see. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Negative connotation to it, yeah. Definitely. And negative connotation, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I almost want to see if there is a picture of a ratchet. I think a ratchet is also like a tool. A ratchet is. Um, uh huh, this tool. It looks like a tool. It's. Um, that's ratchet also. Mm -hmm. It's cranked up. I think maybe another uh, another um, oh, what should I another would be cranked it. I'm going to crank up the volume, but there's not so much of a negative connotation to crank. I'm going to crank up the volume. I cranked up the the uh, the speed that I was learning or something. I would say that there is that a crank is also. Um, comes from the actual tool, like a noun, like the crank, but there's not a negative connotation to crank up. Mm -hmm. There mm -hmm. is a negative connotation to ratchet up, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay, um, one more word. What is, uh, Jean Bernard, what does it mean to gobble? Gobble, um... <laughs> um. Uh, according to the, the sentence, um, it seems uh, gabol uh, gabol means uh, means to uh, uh, gabol is um, mean. Uh, Kind of pollution, kind of pollution. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, actually. No. Up, so. no. So the gobble is a verb. It's sort of like to eat voraciously, to consume. Oh. Okay. Um, to concern. Gobble up is to consume voraciously. To consume. Okay. To yeah, I guess the best word I can use is uh, consume. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a verb to gobble up. Like I almost want to here. Let me get a picture to gobble up. It's almost like like a cartoon word here. This these dogs are gobbling up their food. Um, this is gobbling. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it is it also called pick out. Pick out. No, I don't think so. No. Okay. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. To pig mm -hmm. out. To pig out. I thought you said peak. Okay. To pig oh. out means to gobble up. Yes, I would definitely um, say yeah. that those two are synonymous. But you could not use to pig out. Or it's not pig out by the unsuspecting. Mm -hmm. Where it is. Pig out is uh, almost like a flag or. Yeah, pig out is definitely slang. Okay. 
Um, they're slightly different, though. Uh, two pig out. So, so something. So, um, so I feel like uh, to pig out cannot be used passively. You can't use um, pig out passively. It's slang, and there's more limited use of it. Like I pigged out. We pigged out on sandwiches. Mm -hmm. um, whereas to gobble up, um, it was gobbled up by unsuspecting fish. Mm -hmm. So. Synonymous, but differently used differently. To gobble up, I wouldn't say gobble up is slang. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so let's see. Um, that those are vocabularies. Uh, that's vocabulary. Smelting, smelting, and the incineration of waste. Uh, so, mm -hmm. let me just look up smelting because you know, to be honest, I don't even know what uh, smelt means as a verb. Smelt. Okay, so okay, so it's one one version of smelt to fuse or melt, or in order to separate the metal contained, or to obtain or refine metal in this way. So, um, it's a technical term, smelt term. You smell. But actually, you know what it made me think of is smelts are also fish too. Mm. Um, Smelt fish. Smelts are like small fish, kind of like sardines, and we eat those too. All right. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, John, why don't you read the next paragraph, please? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh. Once this mercury gets into the marine food chain, it bioaccumulates in the larger predators. That's why larger fish are generally riskier to eat than smaller ones. Those of us uh, who eat too much mercury laden fish can suffer from a range of health maladies. Oh, oh. Are you lost? Oh, click on my name again. It oh, okay. Uh, um, mm, can suffer from a range of health uh, maladies, including reproductive troubles and nervous nervous system disorders. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency (EPA) reports that human fetuses exposed to mercury before birth may be at an increased risk of power performance on neurobehavioral tasks, such as those measuring attention, fine motor function, language skills, visual, visual special abilities, and verbal memory. Oh, oh. up to 10% of American women of childbearing age carry enough mercury in their bloodstream to put their developing, developing children at increased risk for development, developmental problems. Okay. It's, inc it's incredible. Incredible. What's incredible? Oh. <laughs> what? 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 Uh, uh, all risk. All risk. All risk uh, with uh, mercury contamination. I know, in high doses, I know. Oh. And then we uh, get all this stuff and we don't really even know where it comes from. Uh, right. uh, sorry? Um, uh, I, think, I think a lot of people get sick and then we don't really like trace it directly to these things because they're such gradual, gradually increasing symptoms. Yes, okay. Uh, okay, so everybody, please repeat after me. We're going to go over some of these more, uh, some of this vocabulary pronunciation. Okay, please repeat. Bioaccumulates. Bioaccumulates. Predators. 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 Riskier. 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 
Mercury laden. Mercury laden. Mercury laden. Reproductive. 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 Good. Disorders. 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 Fetuses. 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 Neurobehavioral. 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 Good. Visual spatial abilities. Visual spatial abilities. Good. Visual spatial abilities. Childbearing age. Childbearing age. Childbearing age. Developmental. Developmental. Good, everybody. Thank you. Developmental. Oops, sorry. One more time. Developmental. Developmental. Good, thank you. Developmental. Good. Good. Okay. So, uh, hi. Hi, Habo. Shabo. What's up? Yeah, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Hi, Good. everyone. Nice Hola. to meet you. Fine, fine. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Jabo. Oh, sorry, I'm dead. Yeah. Oh, no worries. No worries. <laughs> yeah, All right, everyone. Ad advanced class, right? <laughs> All right. Okay, so, um, um, okay, so Ken, can you tell us uh, what's your reaction to that paragraph or what are the main ideas? Uh, main idea is uh, it's a uh, I couldn't get the first part so exactly, but uh, the the effect of mercury, especially uh, maybe small contaminated mercury cause more problem. Uh, I'm I'm sure this part, but anyway, the uh, later part uh, they mentioned about how uh, mercury uh, affect you the uh, kind of babies. Yeah. Yeah, kind of it affects you the a lot of problem. Neural system or visual special abilities, blah blah memory. Mm -hmm. And in the American woman child uh, of childbearing age carry enough mercury <laughs> uh, in their bloodstream. Uh, kind of maybe they are risky. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. A little bit of a risk there, indeed. Okay, so. Um, we've got a whole ton of sort of technical vocabulary to go over, um, but I want to uh, before we start, Jean Bernard, do you have any uh, response here? What, what, how does, how do you feel about this? Mm -hmm. you, uh, um, uh, <laughs> uh, in my opinion, eh, in my opinion, it's a real problem. Is a real problem uh, because uh, um, the baby uh, can uh, suffer uh, uh, can suffer a lot of uh, uh, maladies uh, like uh, uh, this are um, described uh, in the article. Um, uh, I have a question, a question about this um, article. Um, uh, this kind of uh, contamination uh, is uh, common uh, in the different ocean uh, around the world, or uh, it's um, it's uh, in, in uh, Atlantic Ocean or Indian Ocean or Pacific Ocean? I'm sure that there are levels that are different, uh, but I think it affects the whole world. I mean, I've heard that the Indian Ocean uh, is very polluted, whereas the further north you go, mm -hmm. uh, it gets to be less. But that might just be like garbage pollution. I mean, when you really think about how quickly things spread in the water. Uh -huh. okay. um, uh, uh, to varying degrees, the best I can say is to varying degrees is this an issue uh, across oceans. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Thanks. Okay. Sure. Show our vocabulary. I just want to check in with Chavo. Chavo, what is, yes. uh, can you describe your awareness around, or what do you know about mercury poisoning in fish? 
Okay. Um, mercury is the uh, phytochemicals that uh, when uh, factory produced and uh, maybe maybe into the air and uh, the mercury just go into the water and go to the river and ocean and uh, it could accumulate into the fish body and uh, when people eat fish uh, the mercury will go into human body so I think it's very serious problem yeah so the factory I I mean they, they need to be more responsible for the chemical of mercury yeah yeah you're right you're absolutely right there um, very good thank you everybody so um, Ken, let's get start with bioaccumulates. Mm -hmm. Give us an example of bioaccumulation. Uh, maybe you know, I, 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 how can I say, a uh, small fish eat uh, mercury, mm -hmm. and bigger fish eat that small fish, and more bigger fish eat uh, that fish, and uh, human eat that fish. So that's how. Uh, mercury accumulate in the body of the creatures. That maybe that's a bioaccumulation. Yeah, definitely. Good, 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 good. Okay. Yes. Um. So small to big. So the smaller the fish, the safer we are. Um. And what about health maladies? Maladies. What are, what are maladies, child? Mm -hmm. Kind of disorder. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Health disorders. What are some examples of maladies? Maladies. Diseases. Yeah, diseases. So, Disease. or, um, or it could even be a, a malady. Could even be a symptom too. So you can say, like, I, I'm suffering from a few maladies, you know, sneezing, coughing. Mm. But you can also use malady to say, you know, I was diagnosed with cancer. So, so it is a broad term. Sickness, right? Yeah, it's a sickness. Okay. Uh, and Jean Bernard, so what are, um, can you give us some examples of reproductive troubles? Um, <clears throat> reproductive troubles. Um, 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 but, uh, 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 you can find um, you can find uh, reproductive troubles uh, in different uh, situations, like uh, like. Uh, 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 reproductive uh, chain uh, from animals uh, that uh, uh, that um, eat uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of uh, mercury uh, uh, plants or uh, a lot of uh, from uh, uh, animals uh, and uh, uh, um, reproductive trouble. Uh, you, you can uh, find uh, this uh, example in the uh, food chain. Uh, uh, chicken, chicken food chain. Chicken yeah. food chain. Mm. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay. Definitely. Um, so let me see. Next one, Ken. The other technical term, nervous system disorders. Some nervous, like one example of a nervous system disorder that I know of is uh, epilepsy seizures. Mm -hmm. Can you describe some of the nervous system disorders that you are aware of and some of the symptoms and causes? Mm -hmm. Nervous system disorder, maybe ALT. I'm not sure. ALT. ALT. Let's see. ALT. Is that what it's called? ALT. I think I, I can swear that I know what you mean. Ah, uh, maybe as I, you know, ice bucket, 
、あ、キャンペーンハッピー。いやいや、おかしい。あ、やれたんですよ。そうです。Uh, that is definitely a narcissism disorder, and that was so heartbreaking to watch some of the videos. ALS. ALS, yes. ALS. Has everyone heard about that ice bucket challenge that,、uh, that was very popular? ALS. ALS stands for. ALS stands for. Amotropic. Lateral sclerosis, and it's literally like where your body like gradually and slowly、uh -huh. loses all control、uh -huh. of the nervous、mm -hmm. system to the point where you eventually get reduced to not being able to breathe on your own. So it is so degenerative.、Mm -hmm. um, and uh, there's not very much awareness. It's, it's sort of like the issue that came up with the ice bucket challenge was that. There's very little awareness because it's such an unattractive disease. Like, it, it hurts people so bad to hear about it that no one wants to even publicize it. Whereas, like, breast cancer is very、uh, marketable. It's cute, it pertains to breasts. Like, how can people not want to. You know, you, know you know how culture goes. <laughs> yeah. Okay.、Um, Um, Chavo. Yes.、Um, what is fine motor function?、Uh, fine motor function. Motor means mobile.、Uh, some,、uh, some, as, some action. Like you move from one place to another place. Well,、uh, well uh, the, two, the two,、um, two opposites. There's fine motor function. These are sort of technical terms. Fine motor function and gross、uh, versus gross motor function. So, fine motor,、um, you can also say fine motor skills versus gross motor skills. Gross motor skills are like the very are big movements, like、uh, throwing baseballs, I would say driving.、Uh, Uh, mm -hmm. Using a bow and arrow, kicking, and when you play soccer, basketball, sports, like those are all gross motor functions, whereas fine motor functions are like writing, sewing,、um, where you need to be, it's very like refined, specific, small movements. Like applying makeup is a fine motor function,、um, painting is a fine motor function. So it's,、uh, a fine motor function is sort of those、like、really small movements. Like maybe、uh, carving, building, making jewelry, fine motor function. Do you know any other examples of fine motor functions, John Bernard?、Uh, reading?、Oh. Um, talking, um, working to work. What kind of work?、Mm -hmm. What kind of work? Uh, um, disability uh, for. Uh, And disability for work,、um, difficulties, uh, in fact, um, people uh, uh, who, who have、um, difficulties to move. Uh, uh, well, actually, my question、uh, was actually so,、um, what are some examples of fine motor skills?、Uh, what are some examples of fine motor skills?、Ex Uh, some examples are sewing, handwriting,、um, sewing, writing,、hmm? threading a needle,、uh, sewing, writing,、uh, talking. Well,、uh, maybe、no? talking is talking a fine motor function.、Hmm? Let's look at a list of fine motor skills. Fine motor skills. Like, there's a big emphasis on fine motor skills、um, when we're in preschool. So, like, you know, holding hands,、uh -huh. video games, tracing, building,、um, popping bubbles. So, yes, you're right, Jean Bernard. Yes,、uh -huh. is an example of fine motor skills. Like, popping bubble wrap, being able to use your thumbs. Yeah, good. Good. And so、um, I also want to contrast that. Shabo, can you give us some examples of gross motor skills? Gross motor skills, maybe jumping,、yeah. walking. Jumping and walking, good. 
and running. <laughs> All right. Great ones. Good, 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 good. Yeah. So big contrast. Okay. So um, let's. Let, I'm gonna have uh, Shabo uh, finish this last paragraph for us. Please. In, par in partnership with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the EPA issues determinations periodically in regard to how much mercury is safe for consumers to in ingest from eating fish. State and tribal envir environmental authorities and uh, or health departments issue fish consumption adversaries for water bodies in their respective jurisdictions based on federal guidelines. The EPA consolidates these local and uh, regional advisories on his website, where concerned consumers and uh, fishery folk can click on a map of the states to find out which advisories may be effect in their area. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. Um, Ken, can you give a summary of that reading? That paragraph. Unmute, Ken. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to unmute. Okay. Uh, maybe the the federal uh, drug administration. Uh, uh, to to uh, uh, determine how how ma how much mercury is safe for consume and uh, maybe uh, people can check that uh, that thing on on the map of the United States. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So good. So Ken, in your experience, do do you believe that the U.S. government or not the U.S. government? government, the world government, your country, mm -hmm. the Japanese government, in your case, has been uh, able to be honest and open and accurate with the people? Are they able to tell us, uh, are they able to, do you think that the government is able to give us an accurate idea of what's, you know, quote unquote safe or relatively safe? It's all relative, isn't it? Mm, maybe it's always concern, yeah, people, uh, because there's, uh, very difficult to understand the chart or the data. Yeah. And in, even though they show the same data, but uh, uh, how to analyze data is uh, sometimes different. I don't so know. only the kind of researchers uh, can uh, can s know that. But the ordinary people is very difficult to know what what the, the meaning of the data. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Good. So, um, Jean Bernard, like, uh, what do you, uh, what do you think? So, in, in, is it just something that we really can't do much about? Do you think that we should be as a, a do you think that p people should be personally responsible for their consumption, or it should be more like government regulated? Oh, oh, oh yes, yes. Uh, nowadays, uh, people, uh, people. Uh, um, concern about um, the uh, their health and uh, uh, the way to eat the good food, uh, good fish, and uh, uh, French government, uh, uh, French government uh, uh, recommend. Uh, um, uh, a lot of uh, kind of uh, prevention uh, to uh, uh, yes to prevent uh, disease uh, to prevent uh, the best uh, the best way to uh, to consume uh, food uh, uh, and uh, actually. Uh, uh, <coughs> Farmers, uh, producers, uh, and other uh, uh, factories um, um, uh, uh, 
uh, sells uh, uh, good food and uh, uh, better uh, product uh, than uh, uh, the uh, past uh, years. Yeah, thank you. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Thank you for um, for offering your opinion about that. Um, Shabo, do you have anything to add about your personal opinion about personal yeah. regulation or government regulation of environmental issues that are so big like this? Uh, I think uh, uh, people should be responsible for what they eat if they want to be healthy. Right. Uh, only government regulates, I think it is not enough uh, for for people's health. Yeah, so right. people should be aware of what they eat. Right. Great. Okay. Well, I appreciate um, I appreciate everyone's insight on all of that. Um, I w have one more word to go over before we close. I have the word consolidates. Um, Jean Bernard, do you know what the word consolidates means? Uh, consolidate mean uh, <coughs> to um, uh, consolidate to 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 uh, um, to um, uh, to emphasize to emphasize to emphasize uh, uh, advice to. Uh, um, to uh, to uh, to give uh, to give uh, some uh, information uh, with uh, great uh, attention uh, for uh, consumers. Ah, um, very close. That's very, 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 very close. Let me just look it up because I was thinking, how do I explain this? Consolidate, like an example of consolidation. Say you have um, eight colors, and you might, you know, put them into three categories to bring together separate par parts into a single unified whole. Like, say, say you have like six pieces of luggage. You might take all the luggage, all the things inside those separate pieces of luggage, and put them into one great big piece of luggage. So taking mm -hmm. parts and putting them together, so they are more, they are easier to deal with. Okay. Yeah. Okay, everybody. So I've okay. got to go into the next class. Um, I hope that's clear. Sorry, we're out of time right now. Um, please feel free to take a read of the article on your own to read more about it. Great having you all in today. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, teacher. Thank you, everyone.